For more on 9-11, I'm joined live by Giulietto Chiesa, a former member of the European Parliament and active proponent of 9-11 conspiracy theory. Mr Chiesa, a very warm welcome to the program. So you say the US government had a role in the 9-11 uh, attacks. What do you believe this role was and why? Well, I, don't, I cannot uh, say that the government has a role, had a role, but I can say that uh, a part of the government and the Congress lied uh, because of the official commission, which has been created in 2003, uh, uh, created a report containing a huge amount of false information, of wrong information, of distortion uh, and, om and omissions. That means uh, the responsible are those who have created this uh, incredible situation when the commission, the official commission, which should have uh, had an inquiry on the events, did not this inquiry, and in the part that they did, they deformed the truth. They did not tell the truth to the American people and to the world as a whole. And the responsible of that is in the first uh, person, uh, having the in charge of the uh, executive director is uh, uh, Mr. Philip Zelikov, who had uh, a very big role in this falsification. This we can say uh, determinately and definitely. Yeah, and can you tell us more about what evidence have you gained to assert uh, that 9 11 was the result of a conspiracy as an official commission, as you say? Uh, well, uh, I can tell you simply that, that uh, in the in last year, it, the, in, in the United States has been published a very interesting book called The Commission, wrote by a journalist of the New York Times, uh, uh, Philip uh, Shannon, where all this uh, inquiry has been analyzed very precisely with a huge amount of documents. For instance, I, I give you only a, a little example. Uh, in that uh, inquiry, uh, there is no mention of the uh, detailed document of the FBA, FBI denying that from the plane there have been uh, so many mobile calls uh, to the heart. Uh, according to the report of the FBI, there were only two mobile phones uh, from the flight 93. While uh, all the world knows and the official report says that uh, there have been, for instance, the conversation between uh, Holson and Barbara Holson, the, the, the wife, uh, from the plane, uh, from the flight American Airlines uh, 11. Uh, well, this call never happened. And the, in the report, uh, there is a detailed description of a call which never happened. I see. If it really had a role in these attacks, how has the U.S. government managed to keep this a secret for so long and also with a new president as well? Well, uh, I don't know what, uh, what uh, Mr. Obama thinks about of, of this question. Uh, on never spoke about that, uh, according to my information. But I believe that the question is open. There are the families of, uh, of the victims. Uh, 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 asking for the truth. There is a big, a huge problem. There is a war in Afghanistan going on. And uh, uh, if, uh, if uh, what I believe is true, the war has been created artificially, like the war in Iraq, as a consequence of that lie. That means uh, the problem is not the problem of the past, to know the, the truth of the past. The problem is today to create a new international situation where this kind of lie cannot be told, cannot be told to, to, the, to the people of the world. We are all interested. I am Italian. There are many European soldiers in Afghanistan. Uh, well, if we know that uh, all this has been created artificially, it will be a very big information. All right, I see. Um, Mr. Giulietto Chiesa, thank you very much indeed for that insight. Giulietto Chiesa, former member of the European Parliament and active proponent of 9-11 conspiracy theory. Thanks a lot again.